Hi, welcome to Vishnu Smart Info Online Classes. In this class, we are going to discuss about combination of resistors. Combination of resistors. Two different types we have. Series combination of resistors and parallel combination of resistors. As we know one thing in series combination of resistors, there is no division of current like this. In parallel combination of resistors, there is division of current. There is division of current. This is the simple structure we know. See one example. Here I have three resistors which are joined in series. There is no division of current, right? This is the junction, bridge 1. Bridge is there. Let it be R1, R2 and R3. Three resistors are there connected across the two points A and B. We need to calculate the effective resistance now. See this technique, uh, how to approach this kind of questions. One end is junction A, other end is junction B. Assume A and B are joined to the battery positive and negative terminals. Whenever current flows through resistance R1, after passing through that, there will be some potential drop. Let this potential as O1, it is connected with a wire, conducting wire this potential also O1. Let's check uh, for the resistance R2 there is no potential difference for the resistance R2. So this kind of resistance is ineffective resistance we will tell. We have junction A, junction B. In between we identified only one junction that is O1. A to O1 we have one resistance R1, O1 to B one more resistance is there R3. This is R effective. So as we know R1 and R R3 are joined in series combination, effective resistance is R1 plus R3. Let's see one more. Uh, application how to approach i have again three resistors no doubt these two are joined in series one bridge is there and i have one more bridge like this so task is to find effective resistance across a b our step one is mark the junctions. Note down the junctions first and label the junctions with proper potentials. Let this potential name as A only because there is no potential drop from the junction A to the junction 1. This is labeled as B only. But this potential is different, let it be O1. This potential is different, let it be O2. This is also O1, right? O1 value is A. Because see, no drop here. So O1 potential is A only. This potential O2, let it be B. Apart from A and B, there is no other junction identified. Let A is one point and B is the other point. A to B, I have one junction, let it be R1. Again A to B, one more junction, one more resistance is there, R2, R3. There are three resistances which are joined across AB. 
that means all the three resistors are said to be in parallel combination all three are in parallel combination like this you can modify let's check one more application I have one resistance. This is another. That this end is A and this end is B. Mark the junctions. One has three ohm. And another one has six ohm, two ohm, and this has four ohm. I am asking about the effective resistance across AB. Find R effective across AB. So very simple. Mark the junctions first. This is one junction I identified. One more junction. Totally four junctions are there. Mark the junctions and then label the junctions well with the proper potential. One end is A. So this is also A because there is no drop from one end A to the junction one. Again. to the junction 2 also there is no drop so here also potential is a only to the junction 4 there is no drop uh, from b so this label as b but coming to this junction between there is some potential drop let it be o1 other than a and b how many junctions are identified you just check other than a and b So A is one, B. Other than A and B, we identified only one junction. See A to B, three ohm and six ohm. A to B only there, three ohm and six ohm. A to O one. So A to O one, two resistances are there. One is of three ohm. Another one is of six ohm. That means three ohm, six ohm, both are said to be in parallel. O one to B one resistance is there. That is two ohm. A to B one more resistance is there. Four ohm. After getting this modified circuit, it is very easy to find the effective. Let's see how. Three ohm and six ohm are parallel combination. Their effective will be two, two and two series combination. See, I am going with the further modification. Three ohm, six ohm parallel combination effective is two ohm. This is the resultant of three and six connected in parallel. Another two ohm is there. This is four ohm. We have N A and we N B. Therefore, R A B value we know two ohm and two ohm join in series. The effect will be two plus two four, four and four join in parallel. The effect will be four by two. Final will be two ohm. I will give you one more application like this. I have number of resistors. Assume all resistors are identical. Each of one ohm. All 
आर आइडेंटिकल लेट दिस पॉइंट एज ए एंड दिस पॉइंट एज बी आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट आर एफेक्ट टू एक्रॉस ए बी लेट दिस इज द वो आर वैल्यू एक्रॉस ए बी आर वैल्यू एक्रॉस ए बी इज जीरो ओम लेट सी हाउ इट इज मार्क द जंक्शन वेल मार्क आल द जंक्शन Here potential is ये here also ये because there is no drop, no drop from this to this no no drop ये and this is also ये and this is also ये of course ये point potential is equal to b point potential there is no potential difference between a and b that's why r a b value is zero ohm. no potential drop across ab similarly i'll give one more application this is one resistance one more resistance I have point A and point B. I am asking about the effective resistance across AB. Find the effective resistance across AB. Assume this is twenty ohm, and this is also twenty ohm. Assume this has ten ohm. assume this has 30 ohm assume this has 40 ohm now i am asking about the effective resistance across ab if we modify the circuit problem will be easy whatever the resistance is given our task is to modify the network for modifying you have to mark the junctions well with proper potentials you have to mark the junctions first let this junction is marked as a because from end a to this point there is no drop after a i identify two junctions this label the junction 1 junction 2 junction 3 now junction 2 while moving from junction 1 to junction 2 some resistance is there whenever resistance is there there will be some potential drop across the resistor so that's why i am writing this potential as o1 i am writing this potential as o2 so this point is also definitely o2 because it is a conducting wire there is no drop since no resistance is negligible after marking the junctions with proper potentials your task is modify the network a and b are the two extreme points in between o1 and o2 are there we have to arrange the junctions based on their potentials i am assuming a is at high potential and b is at low potential let's see O2 is the point which is close to B. O1 is the point which is directly linked with A. O1 and uh, A directly linked. O2 and B are directly linked. So here potential as O1 and here potential as O2. This is the order of potentials from high potential to low potential. Now check A to O1. I have one resistance. 10 ohm a to o1 10 ohm resistance is done o1 to o2 i have one resistance of 20 ohm this is o1 to o2 20 ohm
and one more is there o1 to o2 this is also 20 ohm o1 to o2 this is o1 to o2 O1 to O2, two resistances are there, those two are joined in parallel. 20 ohm and 20 ohm. After that, O2 to B, one resistance is there, 40 ohm. O2 to B, 40 ohm resistance is there. And one more is there, A to O2, 30 ohm. A to O to 30 ohm. Yeah, this is our modified network. After getting the modified network, further you see, we have to simplify the smallest loop first. We have to simplify the smallest loop. 20 ohm, 20 ohm joined in parallel. Their effect will be 20 by 2. 10. 10 and 10 series combination 10 and 10 join in series combination so this is 10 ohm as usual and this is 10 ohm modified uh, value 10 ohm after that 30 ohm join in parallel with this 40 ohm joined in series. Finally, this is the point B and this is the point A. 10 ohm, 10 ohm series combination effect is 20, 20 ohm and 30 ohm joined in parallel. For them, 40 ohm series. 20 ohm, 30 ohm. This is the point A, point B. Modified diagram. When two resistances in parallel, when two resistances in parallel, effective resistance is Rp, which is R1, R2 by R1 plus R2. This we know well. Like this, you simplify. When two resistances in series, resistances in series effective resistance rs is equal to r1 plus r2 series combination r1 plus r2 parallel combination 1 by rp equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and so on like this you can calculate easily right so there are simplest ways for modif in modifying the circuits simplest ways are there so many ways in that way we can do yes